Elsewhere, Friday marks five years since the plane crash which killed Poland's president and all 95 others on board when their aircraft came down near the Russian city of Smolensk. Well, the final report from the Interstate Investigation Committee came out in January 2011. It put the main responsibility on the Polish flight crew for failing to react to weather conditions. Low clouds and thick fog near the destination airport saw Russian ground controllers repeatedly tell them to divert to an alternative aerodrome. But the captain decided to land. The flight crew also failed to react in time to the onboard warning system. Here's a dramatic recording from it dating to the very last moments before the crash. Well, additionally, the report said the crew was under significant psychological pressure. The commander of the Polish Air Force was in the cockpit during the final approach, apparently telling the pilots that diverting to a different airport was not an option. Well, despite the investigation committee's findings and a five-year anniversary of the tragedy uh, now approached, Polish military investigators have made a move. Well, they decided to press charges against two Russian air traffic controllers they claim it was their unintentional actions that actually led to the catastrophe. Although some in Poland suspect a political motive for the move. The case has turned direction into part of a propaganda war. We know that relations between Poland and Russia have not been the best in recent times. Well, international affairs analyst Sergei Trifkovich thinks that the memory of the president is being exploited to stir anti-Russian sentiment among the Polish public. They're using a tragedy, and the tragedy it was, 96 people died, as another bullet in the arsenal of anti-Russian rhetoric in the function of feeding general paranoia present in the segments of the Polish public about Russia's malign intentions and uh, sinister deeds. I have no doubt, personally speaking, that all of them fully realize that the cause of the crash was the human factor, that it was a wrong decision by a highly stressed crew. And uh, that's why I think their misuse of the memory of the dead and uh, of the circumstances surrounding the crash is uh, so much more contemptible. Coming up are some disturbing examples of a revival in far-right nationalism in Europe and in Ukraine. Stay with us here at RT International.